you should remember these four main ocean basins. The northernmost is the Arctic Ocean. The largest is the Pacific Ocean. We live closest to the Atlantic Ocean. And the fourth ocean basin is the Indian Ocean. Of these four, the Pacific is the largest and deepest. The Atlantic is about half the size of the Pacific. The Indian is just slightly smaller than the Atlantic and the Arctic is the smallest and most shallow ocean. Uh, the ocean floor is not flat, but it has many different features, some similar to features we see on the continents. We're gonna start our discussion of the ocean floor features by working our way from the continent outward into the ocean. If you started to walk from the continent to the ocean, you would first be walking on the continental shelf. Notice in this picture it shows a continent. The continental shelf is an area that has a very gentle slope and notice the water depth here isn't as great as it is in the deep ocean. The continental shelf is important because it contains mineral deposits like sand and gravel which humans can use for uh, resources in different ways and we also find large reservoirs of oil and gas in the continental shelf area. We'll talk about these more later. The continental shelf is further very important because 90% of all the living things in the ocean are concentrated in this continental shelf area. That's because the organisms can have access to the nutrients that accumulate at the bottom of the continental shelf while still being able to receive sunlight because the continental shelf is the only area where the sunlight can penetrate through to the ocean floor since it is so shallow. So these are very important fishing grounds. If we can continue out in the water, you would notice that the land drops off steeply. We call this the continental slope. In some parts of the continental slope, there are submarine canyons which are carved when mud and sand on the continental shelf becomes disturbed and that heavy sediment rich water scrapes along the side of the continental slope to form the submarine canyon. At the bottom of the continental slope we have another gradual decline into the deep ocean floor so this section of the picture shows the continental rise. So again in this picture you have the continent, the continental shelf, the continental slope is steep, the continental rise is more gradual again until we finally reach the deep ocean bottom. The flattest parts of the ocean floor are called the abyssal plains. These are actually some of the flattest land on earth because so much sediment accumulates here. It settles down to the bottom of the ocean and fills in uh, depressions and so forth to make very flat land. Down on the abyssal plains and in the deep parts of the ocean, all the water is very cold, except for a couple places we'll talk about in a minute. It's also very dark. Remember, sunlight can penetrate through the shallow water of the continental shelf, but it doesn't reach very far at all into the deep water and it's very quiet along the bottom of the ocean. Other than sea, this is an artist's representation of what a deep sea trench might look like. Again, the deep parts of the ocean are very cold, dark, and quiet. Again, here's a picture of all the features we just talked about. 